In Tableau 2020.1, Tableau have added the new feature where on a dashboard you can add a button to allow the user to export to PDF, PowerPoint or images. Let's have a look and see how that's done. I'm going to open up the sample workbook here, um, Superstore. And as that opens, um, this is actually an important feature because it allows users to take snapshots um, to a meeting. It allows users to, uh, you know, export images to software like PowerPoint. Um, although that's not ideal, um, typically you want users to sort of play and interact with their data. This is a useful use case um, for those sort of static scenarios. So if you look closely in the objects pane uh, over here, you'll see there's a new option and this says export. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that into our dashboard and I'm gonna put it here on the right hand side of um, this view. And you can see here that when I do that, it drops this sort of option over here and I can uh, expand it out and give it slightly more space. Now, when I click on the item, I get the ability to edit the button. You can see here the first option is the ability to edit the button. So let's click on that. And what will happen is you'll get this interface. Now, what this interface allows us to do is essentially customize what this button does. So you get the ability to choose whether it's an image, a PDF or a PowerPoint. Unfortunately, you don't have all, but if you're publishing this to a Tableau dashboard, but if you're publishing this to a Tableau server, the user already has the ability to export these three things. So this is designed to be a slightly more sort of um, useful button just to allow someone to do a one hit export to a particular um, file format. So I'm gonna choose a PowerPoint in this particular case. I'm gonna keep it as a text button, but if I was to select an image, I could actually go and choose an icon for the PowerPoint um, you know, software if I wanted to, but I'm gonna keep it as a text button for now. I can format this, uh, give it a nice uh, thick border, maybe a red background to go with the branding for PowerPoint. If I zoom back out and hit apply, you'll see that I get that um, styling uh, applied to, to, the, to the button. If I hit bold on the uh, title and if I just um, give this a slightly more formatting and I hit apply again, you can see that I have the ability to also change the text that goes in there and also the font formatting. And when I hit OK, you'll see that that button now um, sits there as it should do. If I briefly go to the preview option here at the top and I hit that button, you'll see here that I get the option to save this to a particular place on my computer. So if I just save this to my desktop over there, you'll see that it processes the request. Let's exit this preview and go to my desktop. And what you'll see here is a PowerPoint file um, that it's exported. This is essentially just an image that's been put into a PowerPoint file. So you can see I haven't actually, haven't actually opened PowerPoint on this machine, but let's uh, start using PowerPoint. And uh, you get this um, sort of uh, title to go with it. And on the second tab, you see the dashboard has been exported there. So uh, that's that's the feature in, in a very sort of quick uh, overview. Now, what do people who are using Tableau Server see? So let's go ahead and publish this up to uh, Tableau Server. In this case, I'm going to use Tableau Online. I'm um, using a test environment on Tableau Online. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this workbook. And what I will get here is a series of options as to where I'd like to uh, sort of publish to. I'm going to put it to my sample space that I've got uh, on the Tableau online instance that I use. And I'm going to just call this export test. Okay. And I'm going to export pretty much all the sheets. Um, in fact, no, I won't do that. I'll just export uh, just the ones that I'm actually using. So I'll deselect everything but the overview. Uh, and then um, I hit publish. And what this will do is once this is published, it will automatically open up uh, Chrome or your browser and it will open up the workbook ready to go. Now, if you're not logged in, it will log you in, but you can see here it's successfully uh, done this. And you can see here, this is my overview dashboard. And if I click on that dashboard, you'll see here my fetching export button is also present. And so if I actually click export here, 
what I'll get if I'm on Tableau server is this option. Now notice it's much, much more minimalized. So I get a few more options that I didn't get when I was using it on the dashboard. I can use specific sheets from this dashboard or I can choose specific sheets from this workbook if that, if that sort of helps. And so I get this little preview of what's available to me as a user because I didn't tick anything else. Um, I don't actually get to see that. But if I select sheet, it gives me each of the sheets available in this dashboard. So I can actually select each and every one of them, hit download. And then what will happen once that is ready is it will download it for you here. You can see my download options uh, loads that up and it will name it the name of the workbook. And you can see here each individual chart has been given its own spacing in a PowerPoint file. And so that's the new feature in Tableau 2020.1. I hope you find it useful. I think some of the most uh, frequent uses for this will be uh, Excel and PowerPoint. Um, but I also encourage people to, uh, you know, try and get users to use the native capability they get uh, by interacting with a visualization as I am here, where I get a little bit more sort of flexibility um, with what I'm doing. And even this sort of interactivity that you get here with charts and tooltips uh, in Tableau. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, hit the like button and subscribe. If not, let me know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future in the comments below.